The Rock of Dunamis is described by the National Monument Service as a spectacular natural feature visible in the landscape of County Leash. Dunamis, or Doom Mask, was the seat or the fort of the ancient Irish kings of Leash. The fortress on the top of the rock was attacked by a Viking army from Dublin who plundered several other sites in the region. Nothing of this early fortress can be seen today, but what does survive is one of the most spectacular Anglo-Norman fortifications in the country. The keep or great hall located on the summit of the rock may have been built around 1200. According to Wikipedia, excavations in the 1990s demonstrated that the rock was first settled in the 9th century when a hill fort was constructed on the site. The first known settlement on the rock was the Mask or Masks Fort, an early Christian settlement that was pillaged in 842 by the Vikings. was built in the second half of the 12th century. arrived in Ireland in the late 12th century, Dunamis became the most important Hiberno-Norman fortification in Leash. It was Dunamis where Dermot McMurrah, King of Leinster, brought the wife of O'Rourke, the King of Prefney, after kidnapping her. Enlisting the help of the O'Connor clan, the O'Rourke's and O'Connors drove McMurrah from Dunamis and he fled Ireland. By the 16th century, Dunamis was part of the land of the O'Moore family. The O'Moores eventually were transplanted to Kerry. A 19th century poem by William O'Neill laments the demise of the Amores of Leash.